Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 18F. The question says, open the file saved in task 18E. It did the data entry form for student data to make it easier for students to enter their own data. Okay, so what is basically telling us is to go to, so let's go to task 18, uh, 18 E. Okay, so this is the form that we created. So we want to make it more, uh, user friendly as a matter of fact to make it easy for people to know exactly or for students to know exactly what to do when they want to fill this form so i want to go to uh design design view now the first thing i want to do is to first of all give it uh, a suggestive uh, heading right so i will actually expand this let me just expand this here move it up a little further and then I delete this so let me just give it some kind of uh, heading so i have a data data entry form for student data something like this so you can choose what to give it and this is what i will give it okay so you can give it whatever you want to give it so i want to go to home and of course go to uh, um, center alignment. I just want to get it to this to the middle further, right? And then uh, adjust it a little further. And then even the placeholder. Let me just adjust it a, a, a bit. And then pull down this detail a little. And then go to form. And then I want to use this level. And then draw a line. Draw a, a label plus a or placeholder. I want to I want to write something suggestive here. Please enter uh, your details in the boxes below. Okay, for your subjects, teachers, please um, enter their three letter staff staff code for example um, for mr brown please enter gbr okay so this will help students to know exactly what, what to do when they are filling uh, the form, right? Okay. Uh, okay, so let me just make it black. Uh, with, uh, let me just get home and then make it, uh, let's see, bold and... Look, I think it's properly black, I think so. So, okay, that's fine. So uh, the heading, I'm going to make the heading to be, let's say, yellow you can actually make it to be any color you want make it yellow and then of course the fill color sorry but the background color here can be let's say blue just to make it pop a little for a little bit and then if i want i can actually make it also bold just to make it bigger a little further okay so um i think that's about it so let me just pull up this detail a little further and then see how it comes out so let me just so whatever you do always uh, preview in in the uh what's it called in the form view so let me go to form view i think i, I like what i see here this is um this is fair enough okay so let me uh let me just extend this placeholder here to almost here and then of course extend this one just to match up with that okay so I think uh, I'm good with this one. Okay. So this will give it a suggestive name. So any student that is uh, entering data here is going to be, you know, easier for them. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is actually to give. So for this, um, you know, for these names here, student ID, student F name, I can I can actually change it to give it something that is way better suggestive, right? So instead of writing um, student ID here, I can say, please enter your student ID number. Okay. So I can write that here. So first of all, let me just select everything here. Let me just adjust them. Let me make them a, a little um, 
began just to make space for me to enter some data uh let me see these ones here i can actually also adjust this place a little further just a bit right and then also select everything here too and then adjust it to just to make space for what i'm the test i'm going to enter right so let me click outside and then click inside here now so let me just uh, write please oops please enter your student id uh, number something like this okay so uh, you can actually bring it down something like that okay you, let me let me just click here and then uh, adjust this and then pull it down a little further and that will, this will bring it down so i think this is fair okay okay so uh, that's up that's it here so let me see this this one let me just uh pull it down a little further uh, okay you know what i'm gonna do let me just undo everything um let me undo this one so um undo again so let it be the same oh sorry let me just redo i want to select everything and do everything at the same time that's actually what, what i want to do so let me just uh, adjust this one and then select everything and then adjust uh, the height of each of them. Are you going to select or not? Okay, so I need I need to select below here. Click it and then drag down a little further and that will adjust everything for me. Okay, I think uh, that's fair enough, right? click outside and then click inside again so for student uh, f name i will say what is your first name what is your first name first name okay so question mark so that's fair enough um as a matter of fact yeah okay that's fine that's fine let me just leave it the way it is and then the next one will be what is your son name what is your son name okay so let me just say question mark right there so english so instead of putting english there i will say what is your subject teachers for sorry what is the subject teacher for english or who is your subject teacher for english so let me just put uh, let me just write it here who is your subject teacher for English okay so I think I'll put a uh, question mark also here and then um, who is your subject teacher for math so let me just have it right there who is your subject teacher for maths and then of course for science i can write who is your subject teacher for science who is your subject subject teacher for science i did not put question uh, question mark here so let me just do that question mark here and then question mark here okay all right so let's uh, preview and see how it looks from the form view and i think um this looks better okay so this will help the students to be able to know exactly what to feel and then be able to get it done way easier and this is how you can adjust the data entry form so but i let me let's go to design view we can actually pull down this um uh, footer here just move it a little further down so um in order to enhance this we can add controls right we can add controls to this right 
So I want to assume that if you go to the form view here, you will see that from here you can see the first record. You can actually go to the previous record. You can go to the next record and then the last record and then of course new uh, blank record. We can do all this uh, from this place. Okay. So I want to add a control down here. That be able to maybe if you want to save or you want to delete record, it will be easier for you to just delete record from the form, right? So uh, let me go and add a button that can do that for us. So that's another way to actually uh, add some enhancement, okay, in data um, in the data entry form, right? So I want to go up here. You see that this is a button. You want to click on it. You want to come down here. Of course, you're in in design view. I want to drag down so this uh, dollar box uh, wizard will come out. So you want to so let me add uh, maybe find next. Uh, I don't need that. Um, let's say find record. Find record would be more appropriate for me. So I'm going to go to next, and then of course I like it to be text instead of an icon. So I'm going to go to next again. Um, so let me use find rec as the name. Of that button so i want to finish and then that will be there for me okay so i'm going to go back there and then add maybe two more so you can add as much as you want so i want to add in this case now i want to go to record operation from the categories i want to click on it and then um, let me take the uh delete record and i want, want to go to next and then of course i like text and then of course uh, go to next and then um, i want to name the button to be delete rec something like that okay so i will finish that and then let me see if it aligns so i'm going to pull it pull it up a little further so that aligns that's fair enough um so let me see what i can, what else i can add what other bot button i can add that click and then track here uh, let's see record operation what else mm, let me see maybe print i can print record straight from here Next text, of course, and then uh, next, I want to say prints. I want to rename it to print rec just for it to be easy for us to figure out later on if need be, right? So I want to put this up. Mm, what else do I want to put in here? Uh, let me see. So drag across uh, record. Um, let me do. Um, save record or let's say undo record Man, let me just do a save record you can do whatever you like actually let me just um, use this next uh save rec okay and then finish up so and that will do it for me okay so these buttons you can actually also adjust them so let me just click here and then make sure that the marquee ca catches all of them and then you can change the colors right so you can actually um, either use the property sheet here to do that or you can just go to home here and then maybe change the uh, colors i think this will change the field color let me see mm, should i take yellow yellow is too so let me just take this and then i will change that the colors for us okay so um you can change the uh the text inside i think to maybe white if you want to so that will uh, that will do that for you um i think also um what else can, can you put can you have here so let me preview and see how it looks from the form uh so this is how it's going to look so you can actually adjust it to whatever you want so from here you can actually have control so now the controls will actually work okay so this is how you can um, adjust your um you know um data entry form to make it um actually easy for students to um, enter their own data okay um so the next thing i want to do finally is to go to file so you don't want to save everything on this um, task so i want to go to uh, file i want to go to save as i want to make sure i click on save object as and then um, of course um, save as so i want to have it as a task let me just remove all spaces uh, task 18 F if I'm not mistaken let me be sure task 18 F so uh, and I want to save it as a form yes okay so I can say okay and that will drop here as a form okay so I can um, go ahead and close this 
okay so if i open task 18 f student task 18 f here so that will show the form right here okay so i think that does it for us all right so thank you so much if you have any question leave a comment down below uh and i'll see you in the next one bye